This is a video on copying the contents from one MacBook to another using the built-in migration assistant tool. To use English as the main language, press the return key. So I just booted it up and then it will for you to choose a language. Then you can register your Mac. Then choose the Wi Fi. After entering the Wi Fi, it will ask if you want to transfer any information to this Mac. So I'll choose. I want to transfer from a Mac. And then it asks, I better connect it to external power. So now I connect it to external power. Now it says it's looking for a source. It says I have to open Migration Assistant. I wonder if I can connect through USB 3. I started migration assistant on the other Mac and press continue. On the source map it says closing applications and logging out. One moment. Now, how do you transfer your information to another Mac on the source Mac? Okay, it seems it's found it. Okay, so I need an update for this migration. This Mac requires an upgrade before you can migrate data from it. Please quit Migration Assistant on the source and check the Updates tab on the App Store for an update. So as the migration f using the network didn't work because one of the laptops needed an update of the mic migration assistant from the app store i'm going to try using the disk target mode from the old macbook so to do that i need to turn on the old macbook while holding down the t button this will make the old macbook act like a, a, an external hard drive so the content should be able to be transferred using a USB-C cable. So let's try that. I'll switch on the old MacBook while holding down the T button for target. Okay, so it works. This is the USB logo. And now I'm trying the assistant on the new MacBook. This is the first startup, so it's, I never installed anything yet, so let's see if it works. So it's looking for source, maybe I need to change here. So it doesn't look like that it can use target mode. 
Maybe I need to connect it on another port. Okay, that also seems not to work. Let's try booting the old Mac again. The selected backup was created with Mac OS 10.13.2. It is recommended that you update this machine before performing the migration. Okay, so let's update. Okay, this might take a while. Now we finished updating and installing the new OS so now it's restarted okay now it's installing on Macintosh HD about 38 minutes remaining okay let's try migration for the second time again Okay, so target mode doesn't seem to work, so I'm doing it over the Wi-Fi network. It will display a code and then you have to click it on this source MacBook. And now it says it's looking for applications and documents to transfer. So this might take a while. So let's fast forward when it's done. Now gives me the option to select what information to be transferred. There are applications, usernames, other files and folders and computer and network settings. Okay, so I select the information to be transferred. And then I click on continue and then ask to set the password of the user that I want to migrate. I set the password, I can click continue. Then it says the version of iTunes on the selected source is newer than the version on this Mac. So I have to update iTunes first. Okay, the iTunes update should be soon finished so that we can continue the migration. Okay, update was successfully. Then it asks if you want to 
use FileVault to encrypt the disk or not? I think FileVault will make the disk a bit slower if you encrypt it. Enabling FileVault, it will ask you to log in with your iCloud account and then you have to enter a six digit code which will be sent to a trusted device such as your iPhone and then you can enter that code into the MacBook and then after it has been verified it will continue transferring the documents from your old MacBook to the new one and it says it will take three hours and 11 minutes or two hours and 20 minutes. I have about maybe 150 gigabyte of data which has to be transferred but it seems it will take around two hours through Wi-Fi network. Now it's transferring the applications folder and another 23 minutes to go. Another two minutes transferring printer drivers. Now transferring system settings. Okay. It seems it's already done. Now it will restart automatically. Restarting now. Migration is complete. And on the source disk it also says that migration is complete and I can press quit. now restarting to complete migration your data has been migrated and is ready to use good Okay, so at first login you have to register your thumbprint. Or any finger. And then you click continue. Setting up your Mac. And then the Mac is exactly set up as previously on your old Mac, with all the apps I presume, which were already installed on the previous Mac. Yep, they are all there. Excellent. Notice that with some apps you have to re-enter your user ID and password. For example, with Dropbox the info wasn't transferred, so you have to re enter all that data. Okay, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and stay safe.